Okay, so let's use our previous example to give you an illustration. Our previous example is here, right? We want to maximize 2x1 plus 3x2 subject to two constraints and the non-negativities. For this one, our standard form is here. We plus x3, uh, s2, s1, and plus s2, we get to our equations, and that's our standard form. So this is a 2 by 4 linear program. And suppose initially I say my basic columns are s1 and s2. My non-basic columns are x1 and x2. Okay, that means what I'm doing is that I'm going to try to have my basic variables as the slicks, which is something we always do at the beginning. Once I have that, my CB will be 0, 0, CN will be 2, 3. What does that mean? For basic columns, I have C1 and S1 and S2. So their objective coefficients are actually 0. That's something you know. For non-basic variables, that's x1 and x2, and their objective coefficients are 2 and 3, right? So we just collect numbers into CB and CN according to B and N. Oh, makes sense. And then for AB and AN, what's that? If you come back here, this is your matrix A, okay? So your A is what? 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 0. 0, 1. So if you say S1 and S2 are basic, then your basic column AB is here. And if you say X1 and X2 are non-basic, then your non-basic columns are here, and your AN is 1, 1, 1, 2. Okay? So that's how your AB is the identity matrix, AN is your 1, 1, 1, 2. And then lastly, your B is 4, 6, your right-hand side. So if I have this, once I choose the basic set and the non-basic set, I get CB, CN, AB, AN, and B. I'm going to do all the formulas and then get AB inverse, okay? It's just the still the identity. And then I'm going to calculate AB inverse AN, which should be here. AB inverse B, which should be the right-hand side. CB transpose AB inverse AN minus C transpose N which is my reduced cost, which is here. And then CB transpose AB minus B as the numbers here. I don't need to calculate I and the zero, right? They should be there always. So this gives us exactly our initial tableau, which is this one. And if you ignore all those matrix things I just mentioned, this is exactly your initial tableau, right? So very quickly, we can see what we are doing is to calculate this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Once I can calculate the four things, I input them into my tableau. That's how I get my tableau. So up to here, you should still think, well, what I'm doing. So let's see the next step. So let's say I'm going to change my basis, okay? I don't need to always have my basic variables as S1 and S2. I can change. I can say, well, let's try another basic set. So you know we have four variables, and the two to be should be basic. So in total, you have four choose two, which means six different ways of choosing your basic variables. Let's say I want to try this one. I want to have X1 and X2 as my basic set, and S1 and S2 as my non-basic set. And if I do that, my CB becomes 2 and 3, because that's the coefficient values. Uh, I mean, coefficient co objective coefficients for x1 and x2. CN now becomes 0. AB now becomes these two. Why is that? Because in my original matrix, my A is here, right? So if I say I'm going to choose x1 and x2 as my basic variables, then they are here. 1, 1, 1, 2 will become my AB. Okay, 1, 1, 1, 2 become my AB. And AN, of course, is 1, 0, 0, 1. B is still there. So all I am doing is that I change my basic and non-basic sets. And once I do that, my AB inverse may be calculated. Now it's something different. Okay, so you may double check by yourself. And then your AB inverse AN becomes something else. AB inverse B 
CB transpose AB inverse AN minus CN or small c and the CB transpose AB inverse may all be calculated one by one. And if I put all the things into my tableau, what's that? Well, if I do so, for the non-basic one is this one, 2, negative 1, negative 1, and 0. For the reduced cost, they are all positive, and it should be put in the zeroth row. Objective value is 10, and basic variables is 2, 2 and 2. So what does that mean? Once I do a set of x1, x2 as my basic set, okay, once I choose this, I can have my tableau directly. I don't need to actually uh, calculate all the pivoting things. Okay. Typically, when I am doing simplex method, I have a tableau. I do in entering, I do leaving, I do all those um, row op operations. But actually, I don't need to do that. All I need to do is to, for example, here, all I need to do is to take a look at, oh, well, I have the reduced cost. Okay, one is negative. I'm going to choose this one, negative two. I know x1 will be my entering variable. And once I do that, I'm going to say, hey, I need to know the right-hand side values and my entering columns. How should I do that? This guy is just AB inverse B. I know how to do it, and I have it. And for this one, it's obviously something within AB inverse AN, okay? And because I know I want to enter x1, I know there is a column that I should collect from. I can do the ratio test. And then I know what's the leaving variable. I know which variable to enter, which variable to leave. I'm going to change to another basic set. And then I have a new tableau. I check this reduced cost again, do the ratio test again, and then move to another basis, and so on, and so on, and so on. That's how I need lastly can get to my optimal tableau